this holiday season will give tenfold. Every single gift will we'll earn 10 meals for a family that needs it. Right now, though, we're going to talk about something that I think is really necessary in the kitchen, and that's the spurtle. Not a 16th century Scottish tool that was originally made to stir oatmeal. Now it comes in a set of five mini sized spurtles, all with different shapes and different jobs. 700 sets already ordered. What you should know is that these spurtles are wrapped in silicone. Now it's got a nylon core, so it's very strong and durable. But because it's wrapped in silicone, where does it go when it gets dirty? Into the dishwasher. You want to go into a screaming hot skillet with these? You can, because again, it's silicone. And you're not getting one of these, you're getting five of these. Take a look at the, uh, the ledge down below, and we'll walk you through all that you're getting. I will caution you from the very jump that this multi is already the most popular and will be the most popular in our show tonight. If you want the multi, I would encourage you to be on the line for it now. You're getting a solid spurtle, a slotted spurtle. Here's a spoon spurtle, or maybe a spoon jella. And then we've got the skinny spurt and the spreader spurt, almost like a little sandwich spreader. Multi is the most popular. Then I've got it for you in the red. I believe we're calling this one aqua. From aqua we go to gray. Then orange, 500 left in the orange, and then is it ultraviolet? Ultraviolet, 750 remain. Now, if you're wondering how these compare to the full size spurtles, I brought out one of the full size slotted spurtles to show you that even though these are smaller in size, they are mighty in what they can do. They're all brought to market under the brand Mad Hungry, which is brought to us by my good friend Lucinda Scala Quinn. She joins us now live via Skype. Lucinda, it is great to see your face and welcome back with the set of five minis. These are marvelous. And Lucinda, I've got to ask you, because I'm sure I'm calling it the wrong name, what do you call this little guy that's like a spoon? Right now, I call it a spoonchula. Because what I love about you guys is you come up with the greatest name. So from this moment forth, it's a spoonchula. All right, fair enough. Hey, Lucinda, originally a 16th century Scottish tool to stir oatmeal, but you right. introduced this on your cooking show and everyone couldn't stop writing you about it. So you created a set of five minis tonight. Walk us through why these are valuable in the kitchen. I got you. The, this, is, this is oatmeal that I'm stirring, David, and you can see probably back in the 16th century, there was a huge vat and a bigger spurtle. But our customers asked for mini. So we made a mini. This is the original small that uh, you, I, you, you showed. Um, it's, it came with our original set when we first launched. And that also is the reason why, why a spurtle? Well, I can see right now that you're going with some eggs right into a pan and you are not going to scratch your beautiful pan and you're gonna be able to stir and pull away from the sides and get into the contour of that pan. And that's what I was just going to show up here, David, close up, is that where the bottom of the pan meets the sides, you have every single bit covered. And that's why the spurtle. Now that's the original, but we have some super exciting ones today, David. I, can I jump right in with our new pieces? Please do. This is called a Swedish butter spurtle. It's based off another old tool that was a Swedish butter knife, and it's actually narrowed like a knife at the edge. I keep it right on my butter dish just for, <laughs> you know, buttering toast or anything like that. But one of the things that I've discovered that I absolutely love about this is it also cuts. And if you have a favorite young cook in the kitchen, they can have this for their very own tool. And right down here, I'm cutting banana. I can cut strawberries. And David, nowadays, so many people are learning at home. Children are schooling at home. And the kitchen is such a wonderful place to teach. So that is our Swedish butter spurtle. Now for the spoonchilla, my favorite new name. As much as the spurtle does just about everything, our customers asked us for a little bit of a concave spoon 
for the times when things need to be actually scooped. Like I'm gonna scoop out some yogurt right now, right into the bowl with the spoonchula, and I'm able to get more than I normally would. It's about a tablespoon and a half. Look at that, you made that almost gorgeous, David. Wow. Well, and we're watching you too, Lucinda, because these tools are must-haves in the kitchen. I can't tell you, I mean, you see me on Instagram. I cook with your, with your spurtles all the time. And if you all are not yet following Lucinda at Mad Hungry on Instagram, you need to be because her Insta stories, her cooking stories are better than food TV, I'm telling you. But it's amazing because when I see she's got a new one on there, I'll pot up in the bed with my tablet and I'll watch it. Oh, it's so much fun before I go to sleep at night. So this is what it's all about. Take advantage of this set of mini spurtles. How many are gone now, Sean? Well over 2,000 are gone. Most popular is this multi. About 3,500 left in the multi. So in whatever color choice you choose, you're getting the spreader spurt, the skinny spurt, the spoonula. You're also getting the slotted spurtle and the solid spurt. This is multi, most popular. These are all dishwasher safe. I know with the wooden ones, we tell you not to put them in the dishwasher. I want you to put these in the dishwasher. They're fine. Next to that is the red. I have 1,900 left in the red. Lucinda, these are flying. Next to that is the aqua. 1,100 left in the aqua. Then I have gray, 1,600 left. Beside that is very limited, the orange, 350, and finally the ultraviolet, 650 left. Miss Lucinda, I'm gonna show something that you taught me a few years ago when it comes to separating eggs. And this is something that you kind of discovered by accident in the prep kitchen. And there here I can go. pour this right onto my slotted spurtle. Ooh, don't, 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 don't tip on me. And then I'm able to separate the egg yolk from the egg white. Pop that right inside. Whoops. And here's one more. Isn't that crazy? Wow. And you discovered that I when you were working in the Martha Stewart test kitchen. I did, and I have a party trick for you and a toast because I was making cocktails the other day. Yeah. And I took this little mini slotted spurt, I shook up my cocktails, and then I put the the groove over the over the top of the glass. Yeah. And I was able to, just like you're doing there, only right now I'm holding back the ice and Use I'm it like pouring a strainer. my drink. It's like a strainer. Look, I'm making you a cocktail right now. Let's go back to Lucinda full screen. I'd love for everyone to see that a little better. That is so cool. Isn't that cool? And you know, you only know these things, David, when you're really working a lot at home. So by the way, cheers to you and all of our wonderful foodies on uh, oh. In the Kitchen with David. And now, I mean, I use Even this all the time hours, just, to make, yeah. <laughs> just to make sliders. And, it, and, and this leaves behind the fat in the pan. And then also every day I make a fried egg for my beloved and it's perfect for one fried egg. But David, I'd be remiss if I didn't give love to the skinny spurtle because the skinny spurtle, again, our customers asked for it. You can see that it's long and skinny and it gets into those hard to find places. Oops. Like for instance, the bottom of the uh, chocolate when you're trying to get that last tablespoon out or you maybe, can get it out. Maybe the bottom of the cinnamon jar. Because we need yes. a little cinnamon in our pumpkin pie. Or maybe you want to put a little bit of ketchup on that slider I just made you. And this becomes such a beautiful tool for mustard or mayonnaise or, you know, jam or any number of things where you need to slide. I even ice cupcakes with this. And also, I like to go into those little, like you just went into the cinnamon jar, but how about capers, David? Capers mm. are, that is the tiniest little jar. And because you've got a little lip on yours here, you can and just they're put slipper the little guys. capers. And you can put those capers right from here. I'm putting it into my egg salad because I'd like to show one more thing, which is basically one of our signature moves with all of our spurtles. Because each tool, as I've showed you, does about four or five things. So with the original spurtle, we are scraping here vegetables into our egg salad. I'm making egg salad. I'm doing this because I did it yesterday with my spurtle and I thought it was spectacular. So the eggs already in here with the vegetables, I can take the same tool. I can just get a perfect amount of mayo to put in. And unlike a spoon, I can just rub it like this on the side of the pan and it all comes right off. And then once I go in with the egg salad, I can smash it and I haven't gotten a fork. I haven't gotten another tool and that's not all. So I said, scrape, 
I said smash, I said scoop, and then I'm just gonna grab a piece of bread here because then I can serve. And that is one of the most, I mean, it's just such oh, a simple hey, Lucinda, idea. I have another yes. S for you. Before you serve that, you needed to spread it. I just spread it. You so spread I think it. That's five S's. Now you serve it. Now I serve it, and it smells divine, and it looks divine. And again, this is one of the tools that I always like to put into, you know, a gifty for a favorite young cook because they can. Uh, well, everybody loves these tools. I mean, again, they were they were requested, but the little cooks in our lives could own this, whether it's your grandchild, your grandson, your, right. your niece, or your whatever, bring them into the kitchen with these tools. Well, let's, rem uh, let's update you now that we have taken orders for 4,400, and here's what you get and what color choices you have. Now, first of all, you're getting five of these mini spurtles. You get your solid spurt, slotted spurt, spoonula, skinny spurt, and spreader spurt. This color choice is called multi and it's most popular tonight. I have only 2,600 left. Beside that is the all red, 1,500 left here. Next to that is the aqua, 800 left there. Then the gray, 1,300 remaining. If you want orange, now only 150 left in that orange. And ultraviolet, 450 to go around. These are going very quickly. When they get dirty, if you don't want to wash them up quick with warm soapy water in the sink, <laughs> pop them in your dishwasher. Tonight, Lucinda, I'm making a spaghetti squash and sausage cheese bake. Now, once you roast all that spaghetti squash, your spurtle is the perfect tool to get all of that spaghetti squash out. Look That's at right. that. I I actually saw that, David, and I thought, that's the spurtle job. <laughs> and we use the spurtle tonight to get all that spaghetti squash out. So it's really super easy, super fast. Everybody's making this choice now. If you buy Jimmy the Baker cinnamon rolls and you pop them in the microwave, then get his cream cheese frosting and use your spreader spurt oh. to do the job. Miss Lucinda, Stop. now 5,000 are gone. We've got time for one very fast demo on your end. Show us something and then I'll wrap with colors. Well, I'm just sitting here slicing strawberries with the spreader spurtle because I can and I do it on top of my uh, cereal every morning. That's pretty remarkable. It's not a knife. That's why it's an incredible thing to be able to share with somebody that's learning in the kitchen. Exactly. You're the little helper. Hey, Lucinda, let's update on colors. Before we say goodbye to you and tell everyone, 5,100 sets are gone. Here is your multi, 2,300 left. Then I've got red, 1,300. Aqua, 700 left. Gray, 1,200 left. Now in the orange. Oh, the orange is gone. What? Orange is gone. And the ultraviolet, I have 400 remaining. Miss Lucinda, it is always a pleasure. I'm loving the little kitchen we're visiting you in. Yes, right next door. And, you know, we've been expanding the Mad Hungry Empire, and, and we're just cooking <laughs> away to make things nice for everybody. We appreciate that so much. You give yourself a big hug from me. We'll see you soon, okay? Goodbye, my dear friend. Goodbye, Be well. Angel. Be well. Bye bye. Half the quantity in the spurtle is now gone. Big thanks to Chef Mitch, who helped us out with our table here, young man. Awesome job. Did Nick help you at all? Was it with us? All you? Is all you? Oh, he helped a little bit. All right, let's check in with Julia. Before